What's up guys? Another gorgeous day here in Nice. We just woke up. Well, that's not true. We woke up a while ago. I went and worked out. Daniel finished the video. And then we went to go get something to eat. You guys will never guess what we have inside of these. <laughs> Another <laughs> mm, literally the best crepe of the trip, I'm not joking. I got raspberry Nutella and we went to this little shop, it's right next to our hotel, and it's an Italian guy that owns it and he's the sweetest guy, like he was so cute. And I kind of want to eat there for every meal just to give him business. And also because it is crazy delicious. This is like the best crepe we got. It doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> but it's delicious. Mm, yum, yum. She's not wrong though. These are incredible. Best crepe of the trip thus far, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. It this puts so me... much filling in there. Yeah. And the actual like crepe, the dough is definitely the best we've had. The view's not bad either. No. We just realized everybody sitting in these blue chairs here, right on the edge of this path is at least over 70 years old. I don't really understand why. Or maybe these chairs are reserved only for senior citizens. <laughs> We're a little bummed. That was easily the best crepe of the trip and it's from this shop right here, which is right next to our hotel. And we wish we would have known right when we got here so we could have been going there every day. But we're gonna go back up to our hotel. We're gonna go check out the pool area and maybe relax a bit before we head over to Monaco for this afternoon. I'm ready to do some serious laying out. We have this whole pool to ourselves here. The bigger portion is inside, but who wants to be inside on a day like today? Way too beautiful out here. Seriously, this hotel has been great though. It's been the Hyatt Regency right here on the main drag in Nice. Main drag, huh? Promenade Basically de Basically like the TCH. Angel's Promenade the or something. France version. This hotel has been great. We've loved it. We're kind of sad that we're gonna be leaving it tomorrow. We are sad, but we are excited for what we have Plan. Also excited to go see somewhere new. Old Town was definitely a favorite. Definitely a highlight. Those photos from Old Town are probably some of our favorite photos from the trip so far. Mm -hmm. I second that. Castle Hill was very cool. Just the beautiful the beach here. The uh, the pebbles on the beach. They're really pretty and they look like they'd be uncomfortable. They're honestly not. It actually kind of felt not bad like laying on them. Somehow we're gonna have to pull ourselves away from this pool and go get ready and head over to Monaco. We definitely want to Monte check out Carlo. Yes, and what they have to offer over there. But then we'll be coming back here tonight and then heading out tomorrow to a new destination. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> hey. All right, you guys. I know you will be shocked to see that we have another almost gone cone of gelato. I kind of can't get enough of it. The gelato, the crepes, the pizza. That's literally been our diet for the last two weeks. <sighs> We are walking to the train station right now. We just had an incredibly delicious, totally authentic Italian meal by the cutest little Italian man who owns his own restaurant. And we met his wife last night when we got some of her gelato. And that's where we got our crepes this morning. And that's where we got it. <laughs> 
We're a little into that restaurant. But now we're headed to the train station, gelato in hand, to head over to Monaco, AKA Monte Carlo, AKA the land of the glam. Just kidding, I have no idea. We'll find out when we get there. <laughs> like the biggest doofus wearing this thing. Like when I go to pay someone, I flip it out. Oh, six euro? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get it for you. I feel like a kid. Wow, this is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at the beach down there. We're on the train to Monaco right now. We're very excited. Honestly, very excited. We kind of got lucky we we made this thing. The URL passes have not been as intuitive as one would hope. The barcodes on them though. don't scan at the machines at the train terminal. And it would have been nice to know that. But we kind of walked around talking to employees and found out we had to push this little button and intercom and say we have URL passes. And then they just opened a door and we walked right in and got on any train we wanted that didn't require a seat reservation. <laughs> But <laughs> it's working out, and so far I still think the URL pass was a pretty cool idea, especially yeah. if you're gonna be on lots of trains. Like, we're on a lot of trains here, we're gonna be on a lot of trains in Italy, and so they've been working out pretty nice. Oh, we're back in a tunnel. Oh, it's ending! It's ending! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the view. Look, there's boats out there. Oh, my dad would die. Daddy, I'm thinking of you right now. Papa Bingham. You gotta come here. I love you. So right when we got <laughs> into Monaco, my cell service in this country, I guess, doesn't work. And so we don't really have a map here and we're just trying to walk around and find these places we're looking for. And it's kind of hard because this city just curves all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason to the streets. There's multi levels of street. The city's built on a huge hill and there's massive cliffs here at the back of the city. But I think we're gonna find what we want. It's just taking us a little more walking than it normally would. <laughs> That was the famous Monte Carlo Casino. The fab of the fabulous. Go there, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if these gates are up year round or what, but I think the Grand Prix here in Monaco is near the end of May, so less than a month away. But we do see like the grandstand set up down here at the very so end of the harbor. And this obviously must be part of the track where they have all these fencing and cables and stuff set up. Where the Russian guy breaks through him with his whips like on Iron Man, and then Iron Man comes out in his Rolls Royce and puts his little suit on. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, pretty insane that they do a Formula One race on these streets because this is the most confusing network of roads I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they all just are like windy. Yeah, now we're attempting to get down closer to the harbor. We'll see how that goes. If it's anything like how it's been previously, it it's might take cold. us a little while. The sun's dropping down. It's definitely getting a lot cooler here now too. It's like it's colder here than it was in Nice. But it is beautiful. These buildings built up the hill. It's just a really, really, really pretty city and we have the palace over here very small but it's actually quite big. Yeah that's the palace where the Prince of Monaco lives. Like Louis Grimaldi from Gossip Girl? It really is Grimaldi. And that's funny it is really is Prince Grimaldi that rules Monaco.
Guys, Monaco is beautiful. These buildings are incredible. They're colorful. It's gorgeous here. These boats, oh, Papa Bingham, you would die. These yachts are insane. This marina is stunning. I am definitely thinking of you while I'm here. I love you and I promise I'm trying to get lots of really cool pics for you. I hope you're watching this video. <laughs> We're gonna go try and find some grub. We're a little hungry, we'd like to do dinner. The sun is like starting to set. I'm sorry, I'm adjusting my necklace because it's all tangled, it's got like 17 on right now. We don't really know where to eat here. Our phones are not working in Monaco. I don't really know why, if it's like just a Monaco thing. Yeah, it's weird, very weird. But they definitely aren't working, so that's part of the reason we're getting so lost and have no idea where we're going. We'll figure it out, so stay tuned. I think we've been right up to the biggest yachts in the harbor. We've been up around the Monte Carlo Casino, and we have not seen anybody noteworthy or famous. Yeah, we haven't seen any famous people, but I'm thinking it's all because they're coming here at the end of the month for the race. Hiking monster hill. Got your very nice stairways up the side of these cliffs though, and we're entering the area of the royal palace here in Monaco. But it's very, very cool. There's tons of old walls like surrounding the city. Guys, it's getting later and later, but we keep seeing very cool things we want to yes. take photos of. We can't stop taking photos. And I kind of wish we had came up here, kind of this area near the palace, right away because it's way cooler than the other side of the city. The other side of the city is much more, kind of like a major city almost. Yeah, it is so beautiful up here though. I mean, I keep wanting to say this city is so beautiful, but technically we're like in a, Whoa. Well, <laughs> technically we're in like a different country. I can't get over the beauty of this place. The buildings, <laughs> like, oh, the water. Oh man, you guys know me, I'm a sucker for water. And if you don't know me, I'm a sucker for water. I can't get enough of it. I mean, oh, look at this. Yeah, there were a couple of guards up there kind of guarding the palace and we asked them how to get back to the train station and holy crap their uniforms were so sharp they looked so good but he told us we had to go all the way back down the stairs that we had just came up so we weren't happy to hear that but yeah he said that's the fastest way he said it should take 10 minutes we'll see how long it actually takes us though yeah wish us luck <laughs> but this country is amazing it's about the size of central park in new york city in manhattan and manhattan is small yeah so it's very, it's very small, big. but man, have they made good use of this cliffside property. They have just built right up it and everything is beautiful. So it took us more like 30 to 40 <laughs> minutes to get to the train station. It was not the 10 that the guard said it might be. It took you guys, we officially got lost in the streets of Monaco. And you know what? As crazy as it was, it was beautiful. I'm kind of glad that it happened because we were able to see like a ton more and it was so beautiful. But man, our legs and bum got a workout <laughs> because that street is full of hills and stairs and we just kept climbing. Turns out we were 14 levels. I guess that that city is like full of elevators. We didn't know that. There's elevators all over the city because it is so like hilly and it's just like on a cliff. We had been climbing so much that somebody finally told us like, oh, you just get in this lift right here and go down 14. minus 14. We were 14 levels above where we were supposed to be. A lot of unnecessary <laughs> climbing there. Oh well, it's a very safe feeling city though. It's like totally safe. But we made it back, we got some dinner, and now we are starting to pack things up because tomorrow we're off to a new location we're very excited about. Italy. In Italia. Italy. 
that how they say it? Yeah, and we're super excited to just eat Italian food from here on out because honestly, it's one of our favorites, even back home. We found a little Italian place right on this street. We were surprised at how big of a difference there was between that and then like the other pizzas and pastas that we were eating. Like this was just like a whole new level of delicious. Yeah, we might've went there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. <laughs> The owners definitely know who we are now. Yes, they do. And they always say, oh, welcome back. Just thank you for watching. Like this video, definitely subscribe below and check out our Instagram at Dan and Shell. Lots of cool stuff going up on there. Good night. All right, so I've had a few questions about my hair. People have asked for hair tutorials. Let me tell you something. I am not very good at hair. I mean, I'm just gonna become clean with everybody. I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to hair. And the funny thing is like, sometimes I'll look up a video and it just like doesn't make sense to me. Like I'm not able to follow the video of how they're actually doing things very well. I usually just go off of pictures. I'll find a picture of a hairstyle that I think is cool and then I'll just mess around until it looks somewhat like it and sometimes I get super lucky and then sometimes I have an epic fail as you can see here <laughs> I did my best. I think I learned from my mistakes. I think next time I do this hairstyle, I'll do things a little bit differently to try and perfect it. But this one was a decent attempt for my first try, but it was definitely a little bit of a fail. <laughs> so if I ever get good at hair and like know what I'm doing, maybe I'll do something. But the truth is, I don't know what I'm doing. I just mess around until something kind of turns out. I don't know. I guess sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't.